All right, so coming out this week, uh, there's a lot of good stuff coming out this week. I've been I've been looking videos and everything on pretty much to explain more of what is coming out this week. But it looks like an RPG MMO week. Like there's a lot of amazing games, except for that one, uh, Mitsurugi Kamui. Uh, man, it looks like this basic hack and slash. Uh, I don't know. It's not rocking my world, man. I'm not paying for that. The only one that really surprised me is Layers of Fear. Honestly, on PS4 and its release uh, tomorrow. I did somehow put the gameplay somewhere. Uh, this one right there. But uh, I'm just going to let it play. I'll cut the sound off, though, because it's kind of creepy. But So you guys could see. While I'm doing this. Layers of fear. Yeah, it looks scary. I don't know. Yeah, it looks it looks awesome. I'm just it's 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 bothering me. I kinda like it. I don't know if it's a puzzle or anything, but it looks like a dark story and a lot of scary stuff. I'm actually thinking maybe I'll buy it. I'm not sure yet. Alright, after that, uh Pillars of Eternity. I didn't go watch the gameplay really. I don't know what it is. Coming out this week, Project uh, X Zone 2. That's an RPG with uh, Namco, Bandai's character, and uh, Capcom's character, and Tekken, and a bunch of stuff. It's a crossover RPG. First one was a success, so that one has to be good too. Rainbow Moon. Rainbow Moon actually looks... I, I, I just looked at the graphic and everything. It's just... It's just... Uh, I'll play it too. I have it somewhere around here. I have to go check it. Check it. Check it. Where is it? Uh, Fire Emblem 2. I checked it and, and I, I just love the, the graphics, the whole thing. I don't know where I put it. I'm sorry, guys. But go check it out. Go check some gameplay. Just the, the, the gameplay and the graphics and everything is so, like, wow. Amazing. Return to Palopo, whatever this is, as another RPG. That one I checked many, many, many times. I don't know. The song was really catchy and it looked cool. Classic little RPG, you know. I look at the graphics, though. Oh, man, it looks cool. There's a lot of good RPGs coming out this week. This, this, looks, this looks amazing. Too bad I don't have all that time in the world to play all these games. But you get the picture, right? It's on Nintendo 3DS. It looks cool. 40 bucks. I don't know. It looks really good. And the big come out of this week, I'm playing actually in five hours, is Street Fighter V. Tron Run. Uh, Tron Run. It's Fire Emblem again. Fire Emblem, man, coming out this week too. The battles, the graphics, and everything. Look at that. Look at that. It just looks so amazing. There's a lot of RPGs, but I don't have the time to play RPGs. Anyways, where was I at? This one we could close. This one we could close. The Tron Run thing I wanted to show. Yeah, that looks kind of, I don't know, iffy. Just like playing on the iPad and everything. You know, run games. I think I'm going to skip that big time. Graphically, it looks amazing. But honestly, do you want to play another run game? I don't really want to. Let's close this one. What else we got? I didn't check this one. The Escapist, The Walking Dead on PS4. There's a lot. California. California, I checked. Californium. It's, uh, it's on Steam. So I guess it's a PC release. But... Uh, I don't know if the game's any good comes out. It looks like another... It's just graphically, like, the whole set of the game. Like, graphically, look at that, look at that. That that looks cool, but I don't know. Explore the world in a first-person exploration game. Pretty much says it. A first-person exploration game where you are the writer trapped into shifting realities. Will you find what's behind... Simo, whatever, that's, I can't read that. Honestly, it looks original, but not my type of stuff. Rocket League, officially coming out on Xbox One. Atlas Reactor, I do have 
some kind of it looks like a turn based type of thing it looks cool graphically graphically like just the image it looks cool man you know turn based action just like playing chess strategy game graphically i think it looks wonderful but not my type of game Tactical game. There, they said it. So you get the picture. It's just look at that guy's face, man. It looks unique, like something you've never seen. So Atlas Reactor, Turn Base, and all the other ones. Black Desert Online, Second Close Beta, Skyline. I'm getting to the good part. I don't know what these games are. Dagon, what? Dagon Ronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Trigger Happy? No, oh, it's not a Skylander game. Devil Daggers. Then we have Hero and Daughter. No Pineapple Left Behind. <laughs> this is the good part. On the Xbox One, the beta is going to be open beta. So I can finally try the division. And it's going to be from Thursday to Sunday. Open beta for Xbox One owners. And Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem, I did show some part of it. You guys saw it earlier. Really cool. Coming out on the 3DS on Friday. And that's pretty much what we're getting this week. The beta for Hitman, I'm kind of skipping that. I don't really want to play it. Too much good stuff I really want to play this week. Especially Street Fighter. And the Division open beta on Friday. I checked Wonder Shot 2 and that looked kind of boring. Not not my type. And that's about it. Now we're starting off in next week. I'm not going to skip it. But that's what's coming out this week pretty much. But stay focused on the beta. I can't wait. I really want to try it. This week from Friday to Sunday.